Hi, um, so welcome everyone to this interview. I've got the conveners of the Africa and International Studies Working Group here with me. Um, brand new conveners, Delhi Cogbear and uh, Peter Brett. So good morning, welcome to you guys. Good morning. Good morning. Um, so firstly, I was wondering if you could um, just tell us a bit about yourselves, you know, what's your background, what are your research interests? Sure, so um, my name's Peter Brett. I'm a senior lecturer at Queen Mary uh, in the University of London. I'm interested in the sociology of law and international law, um, with a particular interest in international courts and Southern and West Africa. Okay, great. What about you, Deli? Yes, I, I'm Deli Kogbe. I'm with University of Dundee. Yeah, I, I, I did my verbal this, um, this year, I'm presently completing the corrections, and my research area is actually focused on comparative regional integration, particularly I focus on ECOWAS, the Economic Community of West African States, and I also look at the civil society activities at the regional level. Then I also extend it to the experiences of uh, civil society participation in the European Union. So. Um, Broadly, I look at African politics, and then I'm also interested to also look at the issue of human rights and, and the rest of that. Uh, I'm also uh, like a, a visiting researcher at the University of South Wales. That is just a recent affiliation uh, uh, I did there. So um, I'm very happy to be here today, and thanks so much for the opportunity to speak to us. No problem. It's good to have you here. Um, so, for anyone that's not heard about your working group before, can you just um, briefly give us a bit of detail about what the group is, what it's previously done, and what you think you're going to be able to achieve during your time as conveners? So, I think the group has been one of the more active ones over the last 10 years or so. I think we have, isn't this right, between 250 and 300 members? Um, and over the last decade, when, when I've been part of the group, um, it's organised events on uh, African agency and international politics. That became an edited collection uh, with Ramage. There's been a lot of work on British uh, Africa policy, which is um, in the news again, thanks to the merger of uh, DFID and the Foreign and Commonwealth Office. And there's also been work on teaching Africa in, uh, in the classroom in British universities. That became a special issue um, in the Journal of Politics that came out of events organized um, by the working group. And there's also been a number of events around, I think, three or four years ago on the African state. OK, um, and what about going forward? Um, what have you got planned? What's going to what's going to come up? Uh, yes, uh, presently, what we have been able to do shortly when we came on board, we ensured that we had um, our annual general meeting, though we plan to have it at the last, at the conference that we, we, that we did not hold, so we turned into a virtual annual general meeting, and then we, we look at the, the constitutions, that, you know, there was an amendment to the constitution, and then we also look at some of the plans we want to do. So part of the program, we, 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 we decided to, to, to put forward is you know, to turn part of the proposed panels at the last event, uh, which, um, I'm not, I'm not sorry, uh, that was meant to be, to be convened at the last conference, at the mm -hmm. conference that we put in hold. So now we have already submitted that uh, to the visa, mm -hmm. and uh, that will be, will be, will be chaired by, by by Julia. Julia is a professor at, uh, at SOAS. So, mm -hmm. and presently we have been communicating with, 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 the, with the visa in terms of setting up the, the all the like, logistics for the event. So apart from that too, we also have um, the our PGR reps, which is we have Teresa and then we have also have Patrick. So they are also coming up with events, which we are going to uh, let everybody, uh, our, our members uh, know, especially the PhD students and the early career researchers. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, of course, uh, we also have our blog, which okay. uh, which uh, which uh, Stephen is taking care of. 
Stevie Hunt is the one taking care of that. And then we are encouraging our members to contribute to the blog, especially if there's a particular space there where we require article like writing mm -hmm. uh, from our members. But now we are looking at, you know, maybe relating uh, uh, the effect of COVID pandemic, uh, COVID pandemic on, on Africa, and, okay. and then also the, the as 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 uh, Peter mentioned, the 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 the, the matter of uh, defeat with with with, with very foreign foreign office. So and then we also try to look at that in relation to Africa, UK African relations, something like. So we are that is where we are looking at. And then there's another one too that maybe Peter will mention too. There's another event to about symposium, which I think Peter can also talk about. Yeah, um, so one of the things we'd like to do is something which I think some other BISA working groups have done, which is mm -hmm. um, more groups responding to books as they come out, whether written by working group members or colleagues in Africa or North America. Okay. So I really encourage a discussion amongst group members uh, outside of conference time and to make it a, to make the group a kind of forum for debate in the field. So okay. book, book Symposia is one of our ideas to go along with the blog, which Delhi was just mentioning. Yeah, no, that all sounds really interesting. So um, can people find the blog? Will that be on the BESA website on your working group pages, presumably? It's going to be on the new, the new mini page on them. Okay, um, so um, that would be really great. And also the other thing that you said was you're going to have a full day event in September, a virtual, um, virtual panels, do you, do you want to just give the, uh, the date a quick plug so that people can put that in their diaries? Do you, yeah. do you have to do Yes, that? yes, I think, I think the, the event is, is going to be on the 16th of September. 16th of September. Of September, and it's going to be a full day event. We are going to have three panels. So right. um, let me quickly, I can, if you want me to just, I think, is, uh, I mean, so that should be that will be up soon on the website. I think it will be uh, bisa.ac.uk/events. People will be able to find that. The other thing that um, I thought was quite interesting that you guys yeah. said was that you've got two PGR reps, and I know that's something a few working groups have started to do. Obviously, it's a really yeah. challenging time for PGRs and also early career researchers. Yeah. Um, so is there one or two pieces of advice from either of you that you would give to people at the moment who are kind of just about to finish their PhD or they're just going onto the job market? Um, what what could you give them as a, a little takeaway? Well, I think that the main thing we'd like to say to all PhD students is that we're going to try and make this working group over the next two years for both people completing and also people starting a place where you get kind of extra support from people working on Africa because people can find themselves relatively isolated even with good su good supervisors at universities where there's less expertise working on African issues and um, we're going to try and make this a place where you can get extra support when it comes to conference presentations discussing ideas those kind of things outside of the PhD which could help people when they're finished and they need to turn things into articles and so on to put themselves in the job market. Those kind of things outside of the PhD, we think we can provide extra support with. Yeah, it's going to, it sounds like it'll be a good networking opportunities as well. Yeah. So as I was talking about the, the, the panel is going to be on architecture and politics in Africa. Mm -hmm making, living, and imag imagining identities through buildings. Okay. So um, it's going to be uh, a webinar, and then uh, this, this, is, this, this, this is going to be our first uh, African working group event, but is led by, by Julia because it, it was already planned uh, for okay. the conference before. So Julia Gala, uh, Galaga, that is from SOAS, so is the one thing um, looking after that. And then we have three panels that will be organized that day. Then the first panel focuses on making aspect of this event. It's, it's tied to making, but of course, very soon you are going to see the blog because we have already submitted it to BISA. Mm -hmm. So it, uh, that will start from 10 to 12 on that day. And then there'll be a, there'll be a break. Then this the second, we, we, I, I don't want to start listing or mentioning all the panels on that because they're a very long list, but we are going to get that online very soon. 
Then right. the second panel is is starting from one to to three o'clock. Then there will be a break. Then the last one is going to start from three thirty to five thirty. So um, that is a uh, that is the plan we have now. Definitely, there will also be PhD event that is also in the pipeline. So when we decide finally on um, on the modalities, then we also let um, everybody at least um, actually our members we send there and they also pass it through the visa board. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like it's going to be a good day, 16th of September. Got yeah. it in the diary. <laughs> <laughs> and so just, there's just one other thing that I wanted to pick up on before um, we finish and that's it, obviously at the moment people are busy, they've got new responsibilities with the pandemic and you know everything else that's going on. Um, and yet you've chosen to give up some of your valuable time to become working group conveners. Um, why did you think that it was um, an opportunity that was valuable enough to give up your time for, you know, what's, what's in it for you? What, what were your motivations? Uh, for me, as a person, my life has been right from, from my, you know, even when I was in Nigeria, has been defined by you know volunteering, being responsible to the community, wherever I find myself, wherever I find myself mm -hmm. in anywhere in the world, I always ensure that I'm not a passive person in that community. I always want to contribute. Instead of just watching things to happen, I always like to also make inputs so that to make things happen. So uh, I don't want to go back to the history, but there are a lot of legacies that I've had with Nigeria before I came here. In Dundee, when I came to Dundee, actually, because I had a lot of my, uh, my PhD is a bit long because of some certain challenges, but there, um, there's, there's an idea that we brought up, we call it Dundee African Research Network. Okay. So it, it, was, it was within the first six months of, of coming to Dundee that we gave it for that idea. And the essence was to ensure that what wasn't there before, we want to bring everybody together so that ensure that we have interdisciplinary connection among different people who are working from different departments or from, from different schools on Africa so that we can bring it together to keep you know promoting knowledge about that. So and that's become something that people are really like to, to work with. University also have supported it and then so that is one thing that I can talk about. Well, apart from submitting myself as a person to work together, at least in terms of engaging the activities of the uh, activities of the of the group, it's also to learn a lot from mm -hmm people so i think it just, it's, it's for me it's like a form of learning for me and and then and then whatever i can also do and to help the group go so great yeah, yeah. so it sounds like it's really like a you know con contribution to the community learning yeah. and yeah a variety of things for you uh, what about for you peter well i think for me it's from my own experience as a phd student i found the working group just extremely helpful to know who was working in the area to get to recognize faces know what kind of work is being done and even just attending those events and getting to see the same people over and over again that was very important for me and a lot of other people in the group have put a lot of work into it over the last few years and i just wanted to carry that on to give that same opportunity to um, especially phd students but not just phd students working in this area great okay well um i think you've given us some really good opportunities to look forward to and um, some good information there. So uh, there'll be a, a link on the bottom of the screen if you want to uh, log into your base account and join the Africa Working Group. You can, uh, you can join up to three working groups as well as teaching and learning. So uh, sounds like this is going to be a good one to get involved with. So thanks, Peter. Thanks, Deli. Um, Thank you. Thanks, Chrissy. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Ed. Bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye.